Hi, Rob Linhart here in the Hazel's Wine Department, and here we go with Zuper Sales for the week of July 18. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. First up, it's picnic backpack season, and we've got one for you. This is the aptly named Backpack Wine Company Rowdy Red. This is a non-vintage red blend, so we're not quite sure what's going on in here, but it is a well-made, easy-drinking red wine. Nice, spiced red and black fruits up front. I'm on the fence about oak here. I think there might be just a whiff of oak hanging around in this wine. Medium-bodied wine, not too heavy, not too jammy. Good freshness to the fruit. Bit of an herbal note hanging around in there, so a surprising amount of complexity going on in this wine for your picnics, any place where you can't have a glass bottle or you just want to grab and go, this is going to be a great deal for you. Next up, a solid everyday white wine for you. This is the 2020 Terra di Oro Pinot Grigio. They're sourcing this from a number of vineyards, so you get quite a lot of different takes on the fruit here. For me, we were definitely getting pear and apple fruits up front. A nice sort of lush tropical note comes through. Think about pineapple and those types of fruits. There is some acidity here, but not the crispest Pinot Grigio out there. Good, round, full-bodied attack on this wine. Carries through nicely, maybe a little bit of California grass. Uh, all around, easy drinking white wine, super versatile for every day. Last but not least, we had a wine from this producer a few weeks ago. Now we've got another one for you. This is the 2017 Verata Tri-County Pinot Noir. Tri-County, they're sourcing from three counties in California, Monterey, Santa Barbara, and Sonoma. So again, we get some interesting characteristics from all those areas. Red and black fruits, I think drifting a bit more towards the redder fruit side, but there's a slightly smoky, darker tone on the back end of this wine that can make you think black cherry, blackberry. Slight tropical note here again, I was kind of feeling pomegranate or blood orange to give a little lift to this wine. Undoubtedly smells and drinks like Pinot Noir, just a bit of oak coming through now, nicely integrated in this wine. A terrific everyday deal on a really well-made Pinot Noir. John was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.